An independent film made its way to Binghamton to shoot some of the final scenes of its production. News Channel 34's Emily Latimer visits with the cast and crew to learn more. Blood fly, scene 13, take three. Taking inspiration from vampire movies in the 80s, director Richard Harlost is putting a modern twist on his film, Bloodfly. Harlost wanted his film to give a different feel than other popular vampire movies, and he says the pandemic helped him create a concept unlike others. Like everybody was being affected by COVID differently, and um, I wanted it so that in this vampire movie, when someone was bit, they may take on different traits. They may be more angry. They may be... Um, have different uh, abilities, um, psychic abilities. They started production on the movie back in October of 2020 and have filmed in various locations inside of Binghamton and Syracuse, taking advantage of the unique places throughout upstate New York. While COVID did cause some issues, it didn't stop the cast and crew from eagerly putting on this production. No way. Casting director Michelle DeBernardo is a long-term friend of Harlos and has been with him for the whole production process. She's excited as the filming is coming to an end and she sees all of the hard work being recognized. But seeing the vision come to the creativity is just amazing, you know, everybody coming together and just working. This is not a one-person thing. DeBernardo worked hard with the crew to cast a diverse group of actors that would perfectly fit the roles. Danielle Duke came from New York City to play the role of Sam, the life of the party who finds herself in a sticky situation. Richard Harlos, the writer and director, he really made sure to have a really great diverse group of kids in it, which I really, really appreciate. And also when I read the character Sam, I just thought she was a hoot and holler. Um, and I really wanted to be a part of it, and I'm so fortunate that I am. As production wraps up and the editing and distribution plans begin, Bloodfly will soon be viewable from your own home. In Binghamton, Emily Latimer, News Channel 34.